In this video, we'll be looking for pivot table timelines. Let's see how to create that. First of all, I'll just create a pivot table. I'll keep my cursor in the data. Go to insert tab and click on pivot table. So once I click on pivot table, if you see the source data is selected, the dancing ants. Second is I'll select where do you want to paste the pivot table, the existing worksheet and I'll just paste it here somewhere nearby and I'll click on OK. So the pivot table is totally empty now. I'll just add some data, let's say some column names and add some row names over here in the rows and labels. So I'll just pick up the name and drag it in the rows. I'll pick up the region and put in the columns. Similarly, I'll pick up the sales and put in this values. So my pivot table is ready. Now there's no date column which is inserted. So if I want to, you know, filter out my pivot table with respect to years, months or days as per my requirement. So I have to create some timeline over here. So what I can do is I'll just keep my cursor here in the data. That's a pivot table. Go to analyze menu bar. That's a tab and I'll click on this insert timeline. So in insert timeline, it will ask which timeline do you want? If there are more than one or two columns, so that will give you the options. But right now it is only one column. So I have to select that. Click on OK. So this is somewhat like slicer if you remember. So slicer, yeah. So once I click on this, I'll get a tab that is a timeline tools. That's the option tab and I'll get va various options. Let's see that now. So if you see here, that's a given as months and 2017 year. These are the months given July to December. If I move on the left hand side, that's a 2016 Jan to some dates are given like December. And these are the all periods. Now, if I'm interested to understand for Jan 2016, only Jan 2016. So I'll just click on this. That is a January 2016. If I want to go for Jan, Feb and March. So I'll select all these three like this. Jan, Feb and March of 2016. Similarly, if I want to extend, I can extend it using a mouse, right? If I want to go for, let's say somewhere, I can keep on extending it and I, I can see the data is changing accordingly. But now if I do not want according to months, I want according to years, let's say 2016, 2017. So I'll click here. So it says you have only two years, 2016, 2017. I'll click on 2017. I've got this data. 2016, I'll get this data. But if I want both, I'll just drag it and bring it. So entire pivot table is given here. If you want with respect to quarters and days, you can get it. Let's see if I click on quarters. So 2016, four quarters, 2017, four quarters. Click on 2016. I want second quarter. I'll get the data. If you want with respect to days, click on that and you'll get with respect to days. Like in a month, 30, 31 days, the every days will be displayed. So in April, if you want on the second day, what was the sales done? There's nothing sales done. So nothing is given here. If you want to clear a filter, you just click on this option that is clear filter and everything will go away. Let's come back to the normal place. That is the days. I'll select this from here months. So it is a perfect one months which you can understand. Now there are various options available here. What are those options? Let's say if you want to make some changes in the color pattern. So what you can do is you can choose here from the options tab and you can keep on changing the color, whatever you require. There are more options available when you click on this drop down. Any options you can use it, right? I'll select any one option now. But now if you see there are various uh, names and patterns given here. What are those? On the right hand side in the options, if you see here, there's a header given. So if I click on header, something will go away. Again, if I click on this, the header will come back, right? So you see the header is given here. Similarly, if you do not want the selection label, so I'll click on the selection label. If you click on that, this is the selection label for all periods. For example, if you click on April 2016, so it says it's April 2016. If you select two months, April, May and June, May, June of 2016. So that is nothing but selection headers. So if you want, you can bring it. And if you do not want, you can take it back. Next, if you see, there's something known as scroll bar. This is the horizontal scroll bar, which is displayed here. If you do not like, if you want to remove that, you can just select on this scroll bar. It will go back, right? Similarly, if you want this timeline, that is time level. So I'll click on this time level. So there was a small icon given here for days, months, quarters and years, which will go away. So I'll click on that timeline. So you see it come back. So this is the option which you can see here. Similarly, there are various again options that scroll bar we have seen. Now, if you want to increase or decrease the height or width of this timeline, you can use this option as increase height and width. So I'll just click on plus sign. So increase height. Similarly, if you want to increase the width, you can do it. Otherwise, you can use the shortcut key by just dragging a mouse and this will change it. Accordingly, you can see the data, how it is changing in the pivot table. Next, and the, this one is, if you want to name, change the name of this pivot, that is the timeline, you can just click on this option and you can just rename it. I'll say as date two and click outside. You see the caption, the name changes here, date two. If you keep on changing the name from here, it changes here. Now the next one and the last one I have, if you want to connect your timeline with more than one pivot table, you have something known as report connections. 
So I'll just click on this report connection. It says that your pivot table, that your timeline is connected to only one pivot table, that is pivot table 5. If you, if you have more than one pivot table, the list will be displayed here and you can change it accordingly. So if you change any one uh, timeline, two or more pivot tables, whichever are connected, will keep on varying accordingly. So I'll click on OK and uh, that's it. And if you do not want your pivot table, uh, that is your timeline, what you can do is just select that timeline and press delete key and it goes away. If you want to bring it back, keep your cursor, go to analyze and you can click on this timeline. So it comes back, click on OK. So this way you can insert, delete, rename and you know, keep on creating, customizing your timeline itself. So I hope you have understood how to go for the timelines and uh, that's all for this video.